Hello everybody, I am Lavis, and the SCP I'm going to tell you about today is SCP-1423, the summer of 76. This is the third item I'm discussing relating to the Syncope Symphony. If you want to know more about the Symphony and any other SCP items associated with it, there is a playlist on my channel with all of the videos that I've made on the subject. With that being said, let's begin. Item number SCP-1423 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-1423 is to be contained in a standard containment locker located in Site-77's Safe SCP Wing. No personnel are to come into physical contact with SCP-1423, and any who have done so are to be treated as cognition hazard victims and removed from active duty. Personnel assigned to research SCP-1423 are to be given full psychological evaluations every four weeks to detect if they have been affected. Description SCP-1423 is a Polaroid photograph circa 1976. It depicts several unidentified teenagers and is believed to have been taken in the summer of that year. The message, we've had a great year, haven't we? had been written on the back of SCP-1423 in charcoal. This refers to the Remembrance Collection, which I will go over in my next discussion. Whenever SCP-1423 is held by a human subject, they will suffer a memory-altering effect. Over the next several weeks, the subject will show a tendency to reminisce about the last summer vacation they experienced in high school. Subjects who never attended high school or never had a summer vacation will report the last summer they experienced. Testing has shown these memories are accurate and that SCP-1423 affected subjects have an unusually high rate of accuracy from these memories. SCP-1423 affected subjects will attempt to revisit locations from their vacation, such as concerts, cities, amusement parks, farms, hometowns, and will attempt to contact other subjects whom they contacted during that period. When revisiting these locations, subjects will express feelings of regret that they didn't experience as much as they could have. They may attempt to recreate the experience, however, all subjects attempting to do so have reported immense dissatisfaction. Following this change, subjects will become highly possessive of SCP-1423 claiming that it documents their experiences. They will begin experiencing dreams of idealized versions of their vacation, which will increase in clarity the longer they possess SCP-1423. In several cases, SCP-1423 affected subjects will begin keeping journals based on their dreams. If SCP-1423 is not removed from the subject's possession at this time, they will neglect all activities that do not relate to SCP-1423. However, after three to five months of exposure, subjects will begin to document major alterations to their dreams. Subjects may report elements not found in their vacation, instead claiming that they are no longer able to remember their dreams properly. They will continuously attempt to utilize SCP-1423's effect, with each dream becoming longer and less related to their original experience. This effect will persist indefinitely. SCP-1423 was recovered from the home of Dick, who had been reported missing by his neighbors. After local authorities reported on SCP-1423's anomalous effect, Foundation personnel were able to intervene and suppress the reports. Class C amnestics were administered to witnesses. However, <laughs> had been previously administered amnestics in 1976, after he was present at Kirkalonwood High School during incident SCP-332-A. Class A amnestics were given to Mr. D <laughs> and investigation into his connection is ongoing. Addendum Documents recovered from an SCP-1423 affected subject. Document 1. It's endless and never-ending and all those other words for too d long. We've got our vans and the road ahead, but we never get anywhere. We're always closer to the concert. Well, it's a concert today. 
Yesterday, we were headed to Miami to go and see the Coral Castle. Last Tuesday, it was Washington to get together with the suffragists. Suffrage? God, that ain't right. We ain't right about anything. Document 2. I really, really want to just grab Jerry in his freaking face and yell, Hey, we're never getting anywhere. It's just the same s you dumb s When do we get there? But he won't hear, because I won't say it. I'm relaxed here, and rolling through the hills of technicolored grasses and farms. We passed the Boyd farm about 11 times yesterday, and every time, it had the same rusty gate out front. I think I saw someone resting on the porch once, with depraved, hollow eyes that followed down the road. It wasn't swamp gas. You almost look forward to class now. Class? God, I haven't thought about going back to class in months, maybe years. I remember seeing that tightwad Nathan with his stupid face and rusty glasses. Man, I used to want to punch his mug every time I saw it with that dumb, oblivious grin. Sh if I saw him now, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking this. We'll be at the concert tomorrow anyways. I can't wait to see Amy again. Document 3. Roads go on, climbing up the cracked highway. Jamie tried to buy back his soul with a dime he found under the cushion. Stuck it in like a penny arcade and we watched him spin. The sun's ahead of us, burning and crumbling with the same light dancing between the trees lining the road. They aren't trees really, more like puppy dog tails, wriggling in the wind. Found the postcard from dad again. Hopes my vacation will be as good as the one he took. I hope he's right. Wrong. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you heard and would like to hear more, please consider liking and subscribing. The next few videos that I post will also have to do with the Syncope Symphony and the Class of 76, so keep a lookout for more of those. Also, if there are any SCPs that you would like to hear me read, please leave them in the comments below. Have a nice day.